Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Hi everybody, welcome back to 2023, the year of growth, renewal, transformation, healing, the year of success, the year of prosperity, the year of success, kakewo. The year of kakewo. Like, understand? Um, that's what my name means in English. <laughs> Welcome to 2023. Hi, everybody. It's so great to see you. Welcome to another video. This is one of the few videos that I'll be filming um, in the beginning of 2023. I'm currently on a break, but as you watch this, you'll watch it. I will have braked and been back. Um, so it's really, really exciting to be in another year there's something so fresh and renewing about being in you know in a new year I, I i can't explain it i don't know how to explain it but i feel like there's just something so um new and obviously it's a new year but there's something so exciting about a new year because you feel like there's so much to look forward to and there's so much to be excited about and it's you know you have a lot of faith and you're ambitious about things and you're excited about things and you have a lot of hope and it's really really exciting if you hear my voice go in and out i am currently in the last stages in the last throngs of the flu and i'm filming anyway i'm filming anyway uh welcome everybody if you do not know where i am then you haven't been watching me for that long but i am in my <laughs> i am in my office at this current point and this current juncture and there's sun it's going crazy outside but i've got my lights on as well just to kind of help with the lighting situation so glad to have you here i hope you have entered into 2023 um safely um and if you have entered into 23 into 2023 with um sadness and sorrow in your heart uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you um and i wish you a better year moving forward i do wish you a year of growth and healing and success and prosperity and love and faith and just career building i wish you a really fulfilling and largely marvelous year i wish that for all of us and um, I wanted to come on here and talk about the channel changes that are going to be happening this year. I do have a yearly reset video that I've also filmed currently at this juncture that will explain where I am in terms of my personal development for the year of 2023. But this time around, we're just going to be talking about the channel changes for 2023 because there are going to be some channel changes. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry. I thought about it, but so sorry. Okay. Um, the whole idea for my channel in 2023 is to be very intentional about what I share on my channel, to be very intentional actually on all my social media spaces. So wherever you see me and follow me, what you are going to see in 2023 is me being very intentional about what I choose to share on my channel on my platforms, everywhere. Um, so for me, I really enjoy 2022. Where did we come from? Like, let's talk about where we have been, what 2022 was like, especially for my YouTube channel. It was a lot. <laughs> 2022 was by far my busiest year on YouTube ever. And I've been on YouTube for a number of years. If you know, you know, right? But 2022 was the year where I have never posted as much as I have in any of the other years that I have been on this platform. So 2022 for me was very busy. Yes, did I enjoy it? Did I love it? Absolutely. Yes, was I worn out a lot of the times? Absolutely. Did I spend a lot of my time recording content, editing content, whether it's for YouTube, social, uh, 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 Instagram, TikTok, what? Yes, I did. So a lot of my time was also spent just behind a camera or behind a laptop screen. Um, and as fulfilling as that was for me, 
I had to weigh up the pros and the cons as well. And last year, towards the end of 2022, was the time where I really started to sit down and look at my analytics for my channel and look at, am I receiving the reward for the amount of work that I am doing? And in truth, no, I wasn't. Um, if YouTube worked in that way where the more you post, the more your revenue would be. Oh, please, please, cha, I'd be up there. I'd be top tier up there. Um, but it doesn't work that way. It works with views. It works with likes. It works with engagement. It works with numbers. It works with your CPM. It works with a whole lot of things. For me, it, it, it was very disheartening. And I saw this quite a lot towards the end of the year. As much as I know that you guys watching this love my content. And I tried, I really tried to, I put up some Instagram posts last year and I said, what do you like to see on my channel? What do you love? What's your favorite segment? What would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? I literally did a whole entire analytical study of what you guys would like to see based on the people who are on my Instagram. And it's not the first time that I asked that, but I feel like it was very important for me because it was in the latter part of 2022. And I wanted to know because I wanted to make changes going forward into 2023. There are going to be changes. So there are going to be changes because I am very much intentional about how much of myself I will be sharing on this particular platform um, going forward into 2022, uh, 2023, I'm sorry. <laughs> going forward into 2023, right. I live with long form content, but it seems like short form content is, is on the come up, right? And I, I'm excited for that. I just feel like we know YouTube to be the, you know, the legend, you know, the, the reigning platform when it comes to long form content. So for me, it was really hard to adjust to YouTube, putting in so much focus onto YouTube shorts, um, because I wasn't really even big on TikTok. Um, so for me, it was a really hard adjustment. It is a really hard adjustment for me to make me a second. So there were wins for my channel in that we created a family here. I love the people who are behind this, you watching. I love the family we have created here because believe it or not, I know your names. I know who you are. As you comment, I know that, aha, uh -huh, I know you, I know you, Cynthia, Dipuo, Giselle, Palesa, Lerato. Like I know a lot of you, Francisca from Ghana. I know a lot of you and I am familiar with your names when I see them. And I'm so grateful that we have developed that kind of family here. And it's a good one. And it's a healthy space that we are in. But I also had to be very honest with myself that in the sense that the challenges then came in with the kind of content that I create is not intentionally in the demographic that I am in, right? But most so importantly, in the location that I'm in, the kind of content that I create is not the content that makes people go, yes, I can't wait and click, click, click and view, view, view and all of that. And um, that is the hard reality that I had to face with myself last year. Um, and I have, and I have, and I realized that one of the biggest things that I'm not going to do this year is put as much pressure on myself on YouTube in terms of creating and, 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 and uploading content as much as I did last year. Weekly on YouTube, there will be two videos a week from me. Initially, there were three. There were three videos a week from me, but weekly, there will be two standard stock videos from me on my channel. There'll be one sit down video and there will be one long vlog. And I know that you guys love the vlogs and you love the what what, but that's all I'm keeping it to. And because I'm going to only be doing one sit down video, because I'm only going to be doing one sit down video a week, 
it means a lot of the segments that are on my channel are going to fall away. One of the big segments that's going to fall away on my channel is my unpopular opinions video. Um, the reason why I chose to let this one be the one that falls away is because I just... Unpopular opinions is something that a lot of people do. Maybe every now and again I'll throw one in there, sure, but it's not going to be a standard video title that you're going to see on my channel anymore. Um, Candid with Cat will remain. The reason why Candid with Cat will remain is because it's been my baby from its conception to where it is now. And it's one of the big things that I'm known for on this channel. So Candid with Cat will remain and mental health check-ins and real talk videos. So anything to do with mental health, real talk videos. So anything to do with mental health, anything to do with, um, I just had it in my head right now, advice with cat, all of that will fall under real talk. I'll explain all of this in my community post as well. And then there will be a weekly vlog. However, if you are a member on this channel, you will get to see. So in a month, we've got pretty much four weeks in a month so you will everybody will see eight videos in that month eight videos standard eight videos in that month unless I'm feeling kind of excited okay unless I'm feeling kind of excited but eight videos standard in the month and if you are a member you will get to see 10 or 11 videos in each month so you'll get more of me if you're a member so to anybody who is already a member wow happy for you I don't know how I feel about me, good sis, but I'm happy for you that you're going to be seeing a lot more of me. And if you're not a member, do consider being one because there is a lot of other content that's going to go into my membership space. Extra bonus vlogs, there's going to be extra um, sit down videos, there's going to be a whole lot of faith based content as well, where I'm going to talk about where I am spiritually and with regarding to my faith. But when there's certain things that I want to attend, like certain events, and I don't want to put it in my long vlog, I'm going to make it a special uh, vlog for my members. Like right now, my members are going to be seeing a New Year's Eve, New Year's Day vlog from me and they're going to be seeing it and you guys here who are not members are not going to see it. And I do understand that not everybody has access to becoming a member in terms of financially but also from where you are in the world and unfortunately I can't do anything about either of those things and I do definitely understand if you, you cannot be because of your location in the world and I hope YouTube will do something about that. I really do. Um, but to those who are members, thank you so much to those who have stuck around, especially last year. Um, the members have been a really, really big integral part of um, what my YouTube salary looks like each month. It's still not the greatest, don't get excited. <laughs> but the members have given it a huge leap and I really do appreciate that and they've stuck around. Some have left, some come back when they feel like, oh, she's released a certain video. I want to see this video. Some come back because of just sheer gossip. Um, some just stick around with me for the long haul. And I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. 2023 for me is going to be very intentional. And I'm going to only post what I post what relates to me what makes this channel what this channel is right now so i'm not going to drop the mental health segments i'm not going to drop advice with cat i'm not i am however going to drop certain videos that are just not necessary anymore and i'm going to try and incorporate all those other extra things into my weekly vlog so if i included book content i'll probably put it in the weekly vlog i'll do reading vlogs specifically reading vlogs in my membership space where i will do bonus vlogs where i'll read popular tiktok you know inspired books you know popular books that are on TikTok. I'll do a reading vlog about that, but I'll put it in my membership space. So there will be a lot more content for the members. That's very different to what they've already seen. But for here, I'm literally going to limit it to just 
two videos each week that are very intentional to what this channel is, the ethos of the channel and what the channel is about. That's I'm going to also try and incorporate a lot of short form content into my content platforms this year. Now, the reason why I want to mention this is because I noticed that on certain videos in the comments section, I will always get, can you please do a skincare routine uh, video or a skincare, can you please tell me what you use for your skincare? If you follow my shorts and you watch my shorts, you'll actually have noticed that I've put that up, what I do for my skincare, what I use and what I use for my hair and that kind of thing. So there'll be a lot more short form content coming your way on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. But TikTok, personally, I'm going to use just as a platform for me to just speak my mind and chat to everybody and have a good time. Um, but YouTube, if you don't see something on the long form video, you might see it in a short. So make sure that you are there and you follow. And if you see a short from me, watch the short because you're not you might not know what it's, it might be about the hair or it might be about my favorite lip colors or it might be about whatever stuff that I'm not going to talk much on about anymore in the long form content. Also, the last thing I would like to implore you to do is to always share and like and comment in the videos. These help, these actions, <laughs> these actions help my numbers so so much please like the video please comment even if you don't know what to comment even if you're not a commenter you know and you feel like i don't what am i gonna say about this video just put a heart you know what i'm saying just put a whatever you feel like that day are you feeling sunny that day put a star uh put a put a put a what's this the sun emoji are you feeling kind of gloomy or sad that day put a cloudy emoji let me know where you're at and let me know that you are there and you are seeing the work that I'm putting in and you are, you know, just by commenting on the video. Um, and if you do like the video, please also like the video. So, so important, so important. And I hope that we can support each other in that particular space um, going forward. So anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this video. Thank you so much for watching. Those are the channel changes that are going to be happening to the Just Got Leo channel for 2023. Love to have you here. Thank you again, as always, for choosing me over and over again. And to those who have stuck around, thank you so much to the members of the space with JK. Thank you guys very, very much as well for choosing me over and over again, for choosing me with your time and with your money, more importantly. And to everybody else, thank you so much for choosing me as always. Um, I appreciate it. And let's get into 2023. Let's get this money. Okay. <laughs> Let 2023 be the year of success, love, prosperity, growth, healing, and all the good things that life has to offer. And let 2023 be the year that you walk intentionally with God and you walk with whoever your higher power is or whatever your higher power is. But let 2023 be the year that God works with you and for you and more so within you. So, so much. Thank you as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then. Sayonara.